Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have an amazing update for our Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So basically what we have is we have a brand new update for GoodLock 2020 known as the new Wonderland module. So if I go to my GoodLock application right over here, okay, and if I go to my family units, you'll see that we do have the new Wonderland application right over here. When I click on it, it takes me to the application. Basically, this application allows you to create advanced live moving wallpapers. That's one example right there. And if I go to my home screen, here's the other example. As you can see, I have some snowflakes. And if I grab the phone, the uh, wallpaper is actually alive. So everything is inside is moving in its own dimension, okay? So all this is something you can create yourself using any background wallpaper and other elements on the screen. Let's dive in, but before I fully dive in, if you wanna download Wonderland, all you wanna do is click the link down below. That's gonna take you to my website. You wanna scroll down just a little bit, okay? and you wanna download link number one, that'll take you straight to the Play Store, and then you can download Wonderland if it is compatible with your phone. Right now, it is only working with One UI 2.5 phones, but support will be expanded to other smartphones as well very soon, okay? So that's where you download that. If you wanna download the Good Luck application, that's actually over here under link number two. You can grab that as well if you wanna uh, put it inside here under the family section but you don't need good luck to use Wonderland. Anyway, let's see how amazing and advanced this thing is. So let's go to my Wonderland application. I'm gonna tap on start, okay? And then we do have a bunch of pre-installed uh, wallpapers as you can see, we have this one right here, okay? And you can preview any one of these guys by grabbing the phone and it'll give you a quick preview of what that wallpaper does when you actually move the phone, all right? Now, again, like I said, this is an advanced and tricky little software. So let's show you how what's going on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick this one right here, the Alice, okay? And right now, as you can see, we have these cards. They're just raining down on the screen. What I can do is I can tap on edit, okay? And that gives me all breakdown of all the elements on the actual wallpaper. This one here at the bottom is the base wallpaper in the background. This one here is the girl element that's upside down. This one is the rabbit. And then you have all these cards that are just flying on the screen, as you saw. What I can do is I can X the cards out. Okay, just to show an example, I can X the cards. Now we don't have any cards. But what if I do wanna add an element onto the screen? I can tap on this one. I can either add an image just like that girl or I can add particles. So if I tap on particle, Let's just grab the snowflake, okay? Now what I wanna do is I wanna use this, this is the movement that you're gonna use. Do you want flying snowflakes, rising bubbles, or fluttering petals? You can play with all these. Let's just try rising bubbles for now, okay? Just for demonstration, I'm gonna tap on it, and I'm gonna choose auto play, and then it gives you the options to tweak the duration, the size of these particles, so I can go from small to large, as you can see. Let's just keep it nice and large, okay? And I'm gonna tap on save. Now you have to pick a file name, let's just say Z, tap on save, okay? So that's save, look at that. That's something we have created ourselves. Everything on here is removable or you can actually add more stuff. But if I grab the phone again, you can see that it's a motion wallpaper. If I set this, oops, if I set this as a wallpaper, I can put it on the home screen or the home and lock screen, okay? Let's do both right now, okay? I'm gonna lock my screen. So when I go into my lock screen, you'll see it right here. When I enter, it's gonna be there as well. So that's fantastic. You can now have live wallpapers on the actual home screen that you yourself create. Now, let me show you a quick example of actually creating your own wallpaper. So I'm gonna to go to Wonderland, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to New. I'm gonna click on Plus, okay? And then the first thing you wanna do is pick a background image, a baseline background wallpaper. You tap on Background, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my Downloads right here, and let's just pick a wallpaper. Let's pick this one right here, Assassin's Creed. So first I'll position it the way I want it. Let's just do it like that. 
And then what I want to do is I want to add a particle. So let's go like this. What I can do is I can add a particle or an image. Let's first do a particle effect. Let's do something like this. Let's pick something nice over here. Let's just go with, uh, with this one right here, okay? Now, what do I want those elements on the screen to do? Flying so snowflakes, scattered raindrops, rising bubbles. Let's do flying snowflakes, okay? And I'm going to do auto play. Let it do it by itself. Now, uh, what I do is I'm going to save it. It's going to ask me to pick a use, uh, file name. So let's just give it the Q. Or a as a matter of fact, let's just assassin, all right? Save it. So now I have these uh, snowflake-like things just raining down on my uh, wallpaper, and I've got that thing. On top of that, I want to add something more. So let's edit again. Let's tap on plus. Let's pick an image from my gallery. These are the pre-selected images. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's do two things. You can see exactly what's going on. So let's uh, grab this, okay? I can grab this and I can put it right here. That's just an example. It's gonna be on top of the baseline wallpaper. And then I can tap on motion effect and I can enable my motions. I want that thing to move when I move the phone around. So this one, I can preview this. Again, if I move this, you'll notice that that sun symbol is moving around as I move the phone. Now, I'm going to add one more thing, but this time I'm going to do it from my gallery. Let's just pick this smiley just for the hell of it, okay? Uh, let's actually, you know what? Let's X that out. Let's uh, tap on plus. Let's add my logo. Let's add my own logo. I'm going to grab it right here, put it on the top, okay? That's the Saki Tech logo, and I want to add a motion effect to it. What I wanted to do is I wanted to move left and right a lot, and also up and down when I go tilt the phone this way and this way. And then you can do a you know, third dimension here and save it. Let's just overwrite what I already have, okay? Now I'm gonna set this as a wallpaper on both home and lock screens. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn off the phone. All right, turn it on. Look at that. Everything is moving on the screen, all right? Now if I go inside, same thing on the inside. All right, so that's basically what Wonderland allows you to do. It's an amazing little tool. If you do go back inside here, okay, you have all these preset wallpapers. There's a game. Let's set it as wallpaper. Let's just do home screen for the hell of it. Look at that. It's not an actual game, but it gives you that impression that something's happening. You have a live wallpaper on your actual uh, desktop. Amazing. Of course, it's going to take more battery than other stuff. But if you want stuff like this, you're going to have to sacrifice some battery life. Now, let's go back here. Uh, let's pick this one here just to show you other examples that they have. These are pre-selected examples. And I do want to let you know you can edit these. Okay, so we have this one here. You can also edit these if you want. So again, if I go inside, if I want to make a change to this, I tap on edit and I can play with all the various particles, I mean elements in the wallpaper. As you can see, uh, I can just go crazy with these. I can even remove things that I don't want. But when you highlight something, it shows you what it is. So that's the blue background. These are the mountains. And just imagine, if you sit down and create your own elements, you can create a completely customized live wallpaper if you so desire. So like I said, amazing tool. You just have to, uh, you know, spend some time with it and make the perfect wallpaper for yourself. Uh, but if you don't want it, you can pick some of these uh, pre-done wallpapers. Look, here's another example that I just did, just for fun, okay? We got fire symbols. It's just moving around. That's my car in the background and I have snowflakes just raining down. Just a crazy little wallpaper, okay? So that's Wonderland, the brand new update for Good Luck 2020, the brand new module. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online.
to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.